History by PragerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a balloon-powered boat in honor of Robert Fulton and the American Industrial Revolution. Oh, we've got a question. Who is Robert Fulton and what in the world is the Industrial Revolution? I had a feeling you might ask that. The Industrial Revolution was a time in history that changed the world forever. And as for Robert Fulton, well, he was an American who designed and built one of the first successful steamboats here in America. Here's what you'll need for today's fun craft. A disposable plastic container. This one's a restaurant takeout container. A bendable drinking straw. A balloon. Tape. Scissors and a bathtub or a large container that you can fill with water. This one here is a storage container. Before we get started, I want to take you back to Great Britain to the year 1712. An Englishman named Thomas Newcomen invented the world's first steam engine to try and help British miners dig for coal. Coal was very important. Burning coal was how people got energy and kept themselves warm. Thomas Newcomen's first steam engine burned coal to heat water, which turned into steam that had the power to move gears and simple machinery, something that had never been done before. In the many years that followed, the world then started using steam engines to power boats and transportation. And by the early 1800s, the world had its first locomotive, thanks to the steam engine. Let's start making our own boat here, shall we? What you're gonna do, take your scissors, and your plastic container. You're gonna make a small hole in the end of the plastic container centered at the bottom. It might be a little hard, so if you need help, it's okay. I was nervous I wasn't gonna be able to do it, but it worked. You wanna make sure that the hole is about the same size as your straw. You're gonna take your straw with the short end and slip it right through the hole, very carefully. There we go. So that it's like that. <gasps> I forgot to tell you who Robert Fulton was. Let's go back to the late 1700s, when European inventors started using steam to power machines. An American painter by the name of Robert Fulton was in Europe and became interested in learning about canals and water transportation. In 1800, Fulton designed and built one of the very first submarines called the Nautilus. And he didn't stop there. In 1807, Fulton designed and built the first commercially successful steamboat, the North River Steamboat, that carried passengers from New York City up the Hudson River into upstate New York. In 1814, Fulton designed and built the Demologos, the first steam-powered warship. Now let's continue with our boat here. Take your balloon. You're gonna wanna stretch it a few times to make it easier to blow up later. Put the short end of the straw through the balloon, and then you're gonna tape it to seal it tight. You wanna make sure that you make a very tight seal with the tape around the balloon and the straw so that no air is between the straw and the neck of the balloon. Ta-da! Okay, now for the fun part. Let's go fill this with water. I'll be right back. I'm back with water. Now, if we wanna get our boat moving, it's time to blow up the balloon through our straw. Here we go. Be sure to pinch the neck of the balloon to keep the air from escaping. Now, put your boat on the water. Make sure the long end of the straw is just below the surface of the water to get it to go. And let it go.
With the invention of the steam engine, factories and machines could make goods like tools, clothing, and weapons much quicker, and people could buy more goods at lower costs, which helped people live easier lives. Steam engines also helped American cities like New York and Boston become much bigger because more people were able to travel faster than ever before. The Industrial Revolution brought capitalism to America, a system in which private business owners, rather than the government, are in charge of a country's industry. Capitalism brought more opportunity and wealth to America during the 18 and 1900s. And it all started with the steam engine. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.